Hey everybody, greetings to you on this wonderfully spectacular, rainy, stormy evening. But have no fear, we're here to give you the update. So today, JP and Global got a massive 2 gigabyte update, and shocking as it may be, there's actually a reason for it. So if you're curious as to why this update was put into place, mainly it was done because the Unity engine uh, they're doing some updates, it looks like, with it, which basically means that uh, we've kind of needed to rework some stuff, or they needed to rework, like, I'm done it. But point being, if you're wondering why the 2 gig update is there, that's why it is, and so it shall be. Now, also, Global and JP, it looks like, are going to be getting this kind of fourth global anniversary ticket bonus. Basically... If you have spent, for every 2k you've spent in the shop, be it paid or regular, you will get some bonus sent to your account. If you're wondering where it is, it's still a ways away. Uh, right now is the period it goes up to the April the 16th, so any spending you do up until that point will be counted towards it. And then the 26th is when it will be distributed right until the end of, or well, pretty close to the end of October, which is about JP's anniversary date, which is interesting to say the least. But basically, if you've been a longtime player, you spent any resources in the shop, you're gonna get something. And we'll just have to see whether these tickets are any good or not, whether they are useful or not. Uh, hopefully they're gonna be on the better side because let's be honest, more stuff for the players, the better. But anyway. Uh, now, we're going to just run through a bunch of stuff that has happened and get through it generally pretty quickly. So first off, my previous video, uh, my Earth Veritas video, it was not super well set up and I didn't have a ton of time to do like checks against other resources because for whatever reason, Altima Game 8 and, well, Wotive, I under Wotive Calc, I understand why Wotive Calc is not working. But they didn't do any actual um, inputting of data. So it wasn't like I had a ton of stuff to check beforehand. This is my excuse for being a generally poor video. So I am going to do another one later that will be better. That will be a more regular look at. But I did want to get something up because nobody did anything for it as far as I know today. And... I wanted to be the first and give an early look, even if it was unoptimized and not 100% accurate. I still think it was generally good to give at least people a little bit of a look since the Veritas units are kind of hype. All right, next up, new vision card. So the new vision card that we are looking at for another one in the uh, Spear family. I already tried my luck, didn't get it. Sucks, but moving on. Uh, this VC, it looks pretty... Pretty nice. I mean, light resistance is such a weird thing to have, and I guess they just ran out of things to give spear. This is it. Reaction block of 32, light resistance of 24, AoE resistance of 20, uh, magic human killer of 13, which is generally pretty nice for if you're running a magic-based party. I still think, for people who are curious, that the last two VCs have been generally better, being Bahamut as well as the other one that came out with the uh, green-haired sausage-haired girl that's from the Reliquary's room. Yeah, that's a poor description, but whatever. Point being is that I think that this VC is not as incredible, but if you're just looking for more to pad out spears, uh, there are worse options out there for sure. And this isn't really that bad. So there you go. That's my impressions of it. Next up, Limit Burst Upgrades. Limit Burst Upgrades, we do have three, I do believe. And I will change... Nope, three. All right, so Ruel is the first one. Enhanced range on her Limit Burst increases own mental penetration rate for three turns. That's old. Reduces resistance to all attack types for three turns. Deals damage magical or large uh, to the targets within range. Removal of all enhancements or seals removal of all enhancements for three turns and reduces damage to self with a barrier for three times. Rel is, at the very least, interesting with her limit burst because I don't 
think that this unit is necessarily that terrible if you could get a good earth magic team working potentially maybe with a fire spear tank i don't know but there is something neat here i mean the range being up is just better for this being casted it's now actually considerably higher too by the looks of it like plus two maybe plus three on the tiny out of focus image um decreasing resistance to all attack types is good for a lot of different units but the ceiling of like rem the seal of removal of all enhancements is a very curious ability that might just be good enough for her to be always a consideration for earth and magic based parties who run a lot of enhancements and are looking for something to protect it. If nothing else, it gives Ruel a very interesting place and potential functionality over other units. So cool. I'm pretty happy to see that because I kind of generally like sausage haired girl, but feel like she's always kind of just missed the mark just a little bit for her update grade. So this one's kind of cool. Next up is Sakura. Now Sakura is getting enhanced height difference. It's still three consecutive hits large. Target Tribute Killer after removing Shell now, which I guess is okay, but I don't feel like Shell's then around that much and that it's that significant. Still good to have. Lowers a reinforcement rate for three turns and gives an effect that reduce magic damage taken for self for three turns. I don't know. I don't like this one that much but i think that sakura in general has been well and truly out of light based parties is this gonna bring her i don't know she'll be put back into arena so i'll keep an eye on her and maybe there's something i'm missing with this limit burst that's way better than i'm giving credit for but in general i think that also i think it's extra large now this isn't listed on altima but it does look like it's been moved up to extra large so that might be something that's not missed. Again, I'll keep an eye on it and make a note of it for later. And last character, personally, like one of my fav longtime favorites, but one that I haven't gone up to 120 with, Arm, uh, who is now looking at, on her limit first, AP consumption down, increases own defense penetration rate every turn. Uh, Still does the water tribute down, large damage, error analysis effect. Also creates a barrier that completely prevents damage for one time. Adds an effect to recover AP when a critical hit occurs for three turns. But here's the thing. The range has not increased on this. It is still only two ahead of her, which is very low and very unlikely that she's going to. I mean, maybe with um, evade shenanigans and whatnot as a surprise unit, Maybe she gets there in terms of that, but in general, I don't know. I feel like this is so-so. If I'm going to do this for her, it's probably just going to be because I'm, you know, a super big fan. But that free hit is generally pretty nice. And God, it, it's been so long. I kind of just bear with me for a minute. I really want to take a look because I don't feel like I've used this character in so long. A critical chance, 50%, so she has a high chance of doing that. Magical evade. Hmm. Decreased chance of being targeted. Maybe they're... I'm giving... Not giving her enough credit for this, but without sure hit evasion as well. I don't know. I feel like this is just not, which is too bad because one of my favorite units, Lover Design, but um, I don't know. Again, all three of these units will appear in Arena because of their bonuses for the next maybe couple weeks, so it'll be worth keeping an eye to see if it actually does anything interesting but so far i think ruel is the real standout and winner of this batch now continuing on to what is the one of the last couple things that we need to talk about reliquaries so reliquaries has been updated in jp for the book 
and this. And as you can see, I've never done it in this one myself, but here's the key points to take away. I've just been lazy lately. Uh, <laughs> key takeaway from this one is that now you can use three parties towards it. And if you're wondering about the more difficult ones, those come with Wind Veritas medals as well. So another source of Wind Veritas medals basically means that most people should be able to get him fully reincarnated uh, relatively easy without having to do all the way up to the max. And that brings us to the last topic, Earth Veritas. Earth Veritas is not yet obtainable. He is available as a friend unit only for testing, and that has made it a little bit more frustrating to try and get any actual info out there quite yet. As for his medals, his medals will be obtainable through Guild Battle. However, uh, JP is currently going through a limited time event, and I don't think it's supposed to start until after that limited event is done. Basically, if you're wondering about all the details about that, about whether it's a pain in the ass like Water Veritas, you're going to have to hold on just a wee bit longer to get that data. But anyway... That is everything from the Mega 2 Gigabyte update today. Hopefully this video finds you well. Thanks so much for watching. Later.